Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon. And today I want to give all of those who have requested our brand new handouts for the ministry, the eternal dangers of smoking weed. Those of you that requested the handout, they should be arriving any day now. And I wanted to give you a few tips how to distribute your weed smoking handouts. Ready? I got 10 Tips number one, leave randomly on windshields of parked cars. Don't touch the car, just slide it onto the windshield. Number two, if you live in an apartment building, go to different floors and place on the doors. Use tape if you have to. I remember a project I was working on, friends. I went to the largest high rises in my city, and I would start on the top floor, which was 14 floors, and I will walk down each floor and liter literally place on every door the flyer. There are areas in our city where low-income housing, where, friend, you could just go through those, those areas and put them on the door. Just slide them on the door, tape them on the door, and keep on moving. There are projects, low-income housing areas you could go to, you and a friend, and just do a do a drive-by. You know what I'm saying? Wherever there's a community of people in apartments, it's a good target. Number three, share with fast food workers, grocery store clerks, and cashiers. Leave on the desk of co-workers. Just slide it on their desk or their chair. They don't even have to know that it was you, my friend. Just be strategic. Work covert, but be smart because some people, friends, are very embarrassed that they're addicted to street drugs. A lot of them don't want to talk about it, but a lot of us know people, they smoking that weed. And if you don't want them to know it's you, just, just slide it on their chair, the desk, um, and just keep it moving. Number five, same similar thing. Place in the mail to loved ones and friends anonymously. You may have a nephew that's smoking weed and you don't want to keep, you know, browbeating him. This auntie stopped smoking that weed. So you don't have to do it that way. Just put it in the mail and you can type up a label of their address and your return address. You can make it, um, you know, a place. Don't even put a return address. Just make sure you got the right address. <laughs> Number six, leave one or two in public restrooms. Number seven, leave one or two in your break or lunch room two to three times a week. Just slide them up on the table, go back later and see if they're gone, add another one. Just be strategic, friend. And you could do this daily. Keep an eye on your lunch room and just, you know, give it a little test and a feel. Um, you'll be surprised how people read stuff left on the tables. Number eight, if you ride the bus, leave one on your seat when you get up to leave and exit the bus on your way to work, on your way back home from work. Number nine, if you go to any doctor's appointments, hair appointment, barber, anywhere where you're sitting and it's a waiting area, just leave one or two. Number 10, take a friend or a team with you to high traffic grocery store areas, canvas the parking lots, and just talk to people. Don't be afraid. When I first got these handouts back from the print shop, I was so excited and I saw this uh, young lady that I know, uh, She's more of an associate. And I'm like, hey, happy new year. And I was like, girl, you know anybody to smoke weed? She was like, girl, my whole family. I said, here, well, I got a brand new handout. She was like, girl, I need one for everybody in my family. Had another girl, same thing. She was like, my whole family smoke weed. So she took a stack of them with her. So friend, don't be afraid. We have an epidemic on our hands in our nation. And God has put this initiative in my heart to cry aloud and speak. Bear nothing, my friend. Whatever you do, avoid. Do not give or leave your handouts in large quantities anywhere. Don't give them um, to any person. Give them one, two, or three. If they want handouts, you can tell them to feel free to reach out to the ministry, and we will give them a supply. So God bless, my friend. Um, there's your 10 tips to passing out 
this warning of the eternal dangers of smoking weed. If you want to become a distributor, all you have to do is click on the email address inside of this video and send me a request with your complete mailing address, your first and last name, street address. Make sure you include apartment number, your city and your state, and I will get you out a bundle ASAP, okay? God bless my friends. God bless every last one of you who have requested requested these from earlier um, and those that are are now just hearing about it get involved we have an epidemic god bless i love you my friends till next time